Do they prefer if I touch them by the neck or? Yeah, you can touch the neck. They like his back. <laughs> Look at this dude. They're <laughs> like you have a lot of questions and I don't have many answers, but I can definitely tell you how did we end up in that situation. Hello. I don't trust you. <laughs> I don't trust you. <laughs> So it all started about a week ago when I went to Los Angeles Zoo and did my very first IRL livestream. I had four modems on me, I had a giant battery pack, I had an encoder, I had a giant bag, it was heavy, it was hot, it was, it was a nightmare. <laughs> at Los Angeles Zoo they have this really cool thing that if you come at a very specific time, you pay for it and if you are super lucky, you get to feed flamingos. And when I say that you need to be lucky, I mean you need to be lucky to buy the tickets to begin with because the tickets are always sold out and you can't even buy them online i just checked you can't buy them online um, at least during august so i have no idea how did that happen but on the day when i was doing my rl live stream i was the only person who came to feed the flamingos the entire place was crowded and i assumed that people thought that the tickets were sold out so nobody even tried to get a chance i really love flamingos and i've never been so close to one let alone feed them so that experience was, was amazing to me. I really enjoyed every moment. And I wanted to share this experience with my friend Scott. So we decided to go to the zoo again, so he can feed the flamingos like the way I did. Is it sneezing? <laughs> it's, it's sneezing! <laughs> I've never seen a flamingo sneeze in my life. But unfortunately things didn't really go as well as I expected. First of all, it took us almost forever to get there. Look at all, all these people coming to the zoo. Feed flamingos. So many. <laughs> We're stuck in traffic. I'm bored. <laughs> okay, so there's one number one thing that I learned the hard way is that flamingos, when they eat, the food goes everywhere. And I was wearing my favorite shoes for that day, and I really regret that. You will like it. <laughs> Are you excited? I don't like messy stuff, so yeah. Tell me some flamingo facts. Flamingo? Yeah. Flamingos are pink. No way. They're native to the French Alps. Subscribe. <laughs> Look at that. Six dollars for water. Then there were so many crying children all over the place. Yeah, let's go to the zoo on Monday when kids are in school and parents are at work. But there was something worse. All the tickets were sold out. I'm sorry. They're all sold out. Hello gentlemen, this this guy, he's a rebel. Everyone's facing that way, he's a rebel. <laughs> hey, they're bullying him. You think so? <laughs> oh yeah, they They're are. bullying him. <laughs> so after that, we just decided to go home because neither me or Scott were feeling that well. It was really hot and, you know, we we're just kind of tired to begin with. And when I got home, I was really disappointed. Obviously, because, you know, I had higher expectations. I just didn't know what to do. So I sat down on the chair and decided to come up with a solution. So I came up with a great idea. If we are unable to come to flamingos, what if the flamingos come to us instead? And this is the result. I don't know what's gonna come first, the flamingos or Scott. <laughs> Probably Scott. Imagine if Scott just comes, there's a couple of flamingos just in the lobby. Mm-hmm. Just... <laughs> Scott is here. The flamingos and Scott came at the same time. Exact same time. Exact same time. How's he? Okay. Oh. Sure. Okay. No, oh, he's, he's here. Don't say a word. Don't say a word. We're gonna do something and we're gonna come back. Please hold the camera. It will take a bit, but right. trust me, it's it's gonna be worth it. Are you excited, Scott? I'm I'm basically indifferent, dude. I have no <laughs> idea what's going on. He doesn't know anything at all. That's the best part. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to imagine what security things with a couple of flamingos just walking into the building. This is the friend who is still a bit oblivious about what is going on. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> okay. What's gonna happen? <laughs> when I got home after we couldn't feed the flamingos at the zoo, I sat down and. I was thinking, if we can't come to flamingos and feed them, what if the flamingos come to us instead? 
And this is the result, I guess. This Live is... flamingo. <laughs> what because, the because why not? Look at these guys. This is the most bizarre thing. Do you know any tricks? No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy? I, I'm impressed. Like, this is surprising. What are their names, by the way? Uh, Lucy and Charlie. Hi, Lucy. Lucy and Charlie. Lucy's the female, the little one. And Charlie's the male. And he's a little, a little taller than the um, female. How soft are they on the neck? Uh, feel it. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi. Maybe they will feel more comfortable if you crouch down. Hello, sir. <laughs> nice to meet you. You <laughs> <laughs> got beaten by a board as a kid, so I don't trust yeah. you. Okay, <laughs> I don't trust you. I'm, I'm begging you. I am begging you. <laughs> I like how the eye after focus is actually working on the flamingo. On my camera. <laughs> really? Yeah, animal, animal autofocus. Works in the flamingo. After taking a couple of pictures and petting the flamingos, we decided that it's gonna be the best if we just leave them alone for a bit, so they get used to the office and they get used to be next to me and other people. Because we just wanted to film a tiny skit and I wanted to make sure that the birds are feeling comfortable. Just comparing our you know, feet, look at that. Checking out our Jordans. <laughs> like, oh man. Yo, you got the J's, bro. Where did you get them, man? She's legit checking my Jordans. <laughs> She's legit checking my Jordans. What's well, wrong like with her neck? Why is she doing that? You broke her. Yeah, maybe she really likes it. Or she really doesn't like it. <laughs> what What is this behavior? Does she like it? I get that. She shouldn't go away. So let me try, you know. Maybe okay. she can't go away. Maybe it's yeah. like a nerve spot. <laughs> bro, you can. <laughs> Come on, dude. Just put it here. Like I this. hate, I, oh, I'm so afraid of birds, man. You ever seen pterodactyls? <laughs> yeah, but the, you're, did you just compare a pterodactyl to a flamingo? They're dinosaurs! Yeah, but like, not birds the are same, dinosaurs. not the same dinosaurs. No, they're not, but birds are dinosaurs, they're as close as you can get to them. You, you're comparing a dinosaur, like a T-Rex, to a flamingo right now. Yeah. It's not the same thing, man. It's pretty similar. Do you think a T-Rex would let you pet it like that? No, a T-Rex would have eaten me, just like these birds wanted to. <laughs> I don't think so, I think they love you. They love my hand, that's for sure. Is it? Oh, it's going on a, he's going on an adventure. I saw that dog something. I think they're locked inside. Hello. Okay. Um, we can double check. James, what's your favorite animal? Flamingos. How happy Tukens. are you? But Tukens and Flamingos, oh, I love them both. How happy are you? <laughs> I'm so happy right now. There we go. That's a thumbnail. That's a thumbnail. Yep, that's a thumbnail. <laughs> hey, what's up, gamers? We're about to head out. You guys got flamingos for seven more hours. <laughs> no, take, have them leave. How was the experience? Was it, like... it was amazing. <laughs> so, what do you think, Scott? That was sick. Did you enjoy every moment of that? Still afraid of birds, but it's cool. <laughs> do you, are you afraid of them less now? Uh, maybe a bit, yeah. Dude, that's awesome. What do you think? It was... I'm probably never going to do some of that again, so it's just like... You're gonna do stuff like this with me again. With you again? Yeah. I'll make sure we do it again. Next time it's two kids. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get penguins next time? <laughs> After that, we just decided to have a picnic. So we wanted to go to nearest Target to get some drinks, some snacks. And as I was reading the replies to my flamingo tweet, I saw this spinning cockroach. <laughs> and I put music on it and I found it way too amusing. <laughs> <laughs> you find this way too amusing. I should probably be concerned about my humor level right now. And the whole cockroach thing happened before we went to Target. We were just in a traffic jam. It was my friend's car and he was driving and I was a passenger. And as we were going back from the store and we stopped in front of our red light with a couple of cars in front of us, we got hit from behind. We got rear-ended by a person who was on their phone and they said they were not texting, but they said they were on their phone. So at the end of the day, they still were not paying attention and that's how it happened. And unfortunately, right before we got hit, I was holding my phone near my face. I was just correcting the ring or something like that. So when we got hit from behind, the phone went right into my eye like this. It was a really awkward car accident. <laughs> Wait, 
<laughs> so now it's been a couple of days since the accident and my eyes been getting much better. My back still hurts, but I just really hope there's no like, you know, permanent internal damage or something like that, you know, something you don't know about straight away. I don't want the person who rear-ended us get any hate. If you know the person, please, you know, don't harass them or anything like that. You know, they made a mistake, but I just hope they're gonna learn from it. You know, the person who hit us and their family were really nice and supportive to me. They got some eyes. And, you know, they wanted to make sure that I'm fine. I'm not sure if it was because of the legal reasons or because they were being nice. But either way, uh, you know, I really appreciate what, what they did. Now the school is about to start again, so you're gonna see a lot of teenagers on the road. If you're a teenager or you're just, you know, driving, just remember to drive safe and please don't hit us again, alright? Please don't hit us again. <laughs> I need, I need one of you to call the police. <laughs>